guys got to get out another video um this one is about a scripture that i got this morning um but I just got off of facebook again and got restricted but pretty stout this time i guess but won't let me comment, but I commented on two posts. One was by Rudy Giuliani, one was by Mike Pence about the election and the fraud and the deceit type stuff, you know. Uh, but the post was that I tried to comment on was a video, God's not trying to purge the White House, it's our house. And they completely banned me. Or so they think. But anyhow, this was a scripture from this morning, guys. Let me get back on this message. He said we've missed the date. It's not January 6th. It's January 8th. And I don't know why everybody's focused on the 6th. Congress, the Electoral College, all this mess. But it's also part of what I was saying about he's trying to purge our house. We've got, we've idolized so many different things, including the election. The infection, the election, the lies, the coronavirus, the, all this stuff, guys. But it's polluted up here. But this was the scripture they gave me this morning. They said it's in Revelations 1, 8. The whole chat, the rest of the chapter. And then, and the, the 8 is, I'm the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Was the... And then read it, read the whole thing. And then he said, go to 1 Corinthians 1, 18 through 23 again. It's about the preaching of the cross. God, it's time to turn back to him. That's what the whole message was about. Sorry for my tire. It's a little cool in the back part of our house. We have a pier and beam house. And, you know, even though it's I'm here in Dallas, it's still, you know, winter's winter. It's still cold. Well, maybe not as cold as some of my other parts, but. I'm cold. So, but the scriptures are true and correct, guys. It's time to turn back to him. Restricted or not. I'm not restricted by the word of God. My platform is wherever he sends me. I'm going to use Facebook as long as they'll let me. Or try to not let me or whatever. I've got some other things that I've that I got in the works, and I'm just not going to tell them what. Because I'm not going to promote on the internet and let the enemy know what I'm doing. To an extent, it's not I'm trying to keep something secret. I'm just I'm not going to expose the Lord showing me on every aspect. But it's time to turn, guys, back to him. Get this right. Pray. Weep between the porch and the altar. Guys, it's not time to shrink back as Christians. It's time to be covered under the blood of the Lamb. So, I'm just telling you guys, this is a short, going to be a short video, but we've got to do what our Father's telling us to do. We've got to be about our Father's business. We've got to be connected to, to God through Jesus, the blood of the Lamb. We've got to connect God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and His Word. And I don't know why. I don't like the prophetic stuff sometimes. Why He's telling me the eighth and not the sixth? I do know why. Because God wants to get the glory. But I don't know what. He's not telling me, and it's okay. But something's happening in the Spirit. It's a shift in the Spirit. And we're all concentrated on the 6th and what the Congress is going to do and Mike Pence and Giuliani and what evidence. And so there's going to be a military, you know, martial law. That just, man, the list could go on and on. What's God going to do? What's Jesus going to do? What's the Holy Ghost going to do? They have nothing to do with who's president, guys. What it's going to have to do with is that we're going to be the light of the world again. So we need to act like it, not just as Christians, but as God's children, as the bride. And get it right. Get the word true and correct and right in our hearts. Get God true and correct in our hearts. Jesus, the blood of the Lamb, the Holy Ghost. And you're not going to get it through prayer. 
may not even get it through your church because sometimes that's been overrated, guys. And that's been polluted and diluted too. I know that's not a great message. I know that's not something y'all want to hear. I'm not anti-church. But I'm anti-sin and I'm anti-pollution and I'm anti-mistruths and misused. Just like there's abuse of power in, in, the, in the government, there's abuse of power in the church too. Abuse of power in the world. We gotta get this right, guys. Read your word, pray, ask God. One of my favorite things to do. Jesus, what would you do? God, what would you do? Cause I don't know, I'm kinda stumped. He just wants us to come to him, he wants to talk to us in the cool of the day. I love you guys. Let's get this right. And for some purpose and reason to we put this message out that we've missed a date. It's not the 6th, it's the 8th. So we're all folk laser focused on the 6th and what's going to happen on the 6th, which is in a couple days. Maybe nothing, guys. Maybe everything, guys. But he's going to do something a couple days later on the 8th so that the world will know that God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and the Word are the, are, are the last say-so. He's the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end. God's got this under control, guys. Well under control. Love you guys. So look for the 8th, not the 6th. Love you guys.